Hi, I'm Solly Townsend and I'm well into my third decade of communicating about climate change and advising others who do. Now I've seen what works and I've seen what fails and I've got some advice for you. Firstly, we're usually talking to audiences that are similar to us, maybe they're our followers, maybe our friends, and we know how to motivate them. But sometimes we get a chance to speak to a much wider audience. And this is an audience who might be a bit overwhelmed by the ideas of climate change and perhaps not as willing to listen to the solutions to it. But you can reach them and particularly you can motivate them to take action. Now, a few pieces of advice. Firstly, keep it short. You're better off doing a 15 second short about hug a heat pump than you are about doing a five minute program about thermodynamics and why heat pumps are going to save um, electricity. Secondly, keep it simple. Now, there's some neuroscience that shows that people believe anecdotes over evidence. Now, a lot of climate scientists don't like this, but it's true that stories beat out facts every single time. So keep it simple to the stories, your stories of change. Thirdly, sell the benefits. There's a mythology out there that taking action on climate change, about how you travel, about how you eat, that it's actually a sacrifice, that we've got to give things up to save the climate. We know that there's actually a whole load of benefits, that this can save you money, make you healthier, it's more fun, you get better sleep, you make friends. So showing how taking action on climate change has been good for you as an individual is one of the most motivating things you can do. Cut the jargon, it's so easy to make a mistake with it anyway, and feel good change. Now, Climate change is scary and terrifying. That ain't going anywhere. The solutions are motivating and good for us. So make it fun if you want it done. Short, simple, selling the benefits, jargon free and fun. If you do that, you're going to help audiences overcome this big value action gap where people do want to do the right thing, but they're feeling a whole load of barriers in doing so.